Okay. All right, Chelsea. So, first off, I need I want to remind you. You have done this long enough. You know what's correct in the arena and you know what you have to do. Um, you tend to want to please everybody and listen and try to be what everybody expects you to be. You've got to remember that that practicing your equitation stiffness when you're training your horses just doesn't work. It makes you more stiff, makes your cues stiffer. I don't care what Rachel says. I'll pull her into this a little bit because she's the whole, she's a complete 180 from me and you know that. Um, you have got to relax. If you watch these videos, you're stiff, you're riding from your hands. Gus needs you to give him his face and I get you're trying to give him his face but he needs more. I even want you to lift your hands a little bit, relax on his face, sit down, lengthen that leg, ride from your seat. See how you're kind of gathered over your hands? Super stiff, relax your lower back, just breathe and just lope until you're comfortable. And I get he's comfortable. I know that kind of doesn't make sense, but here you are slow motion, let's watch you. Just relax. I want to see more relaxation in your back. I want to see that leg longer. He likes a lot of leg. He has a big barrel. You've got to have a long, strong leg for him to collect, use his abdomen, and be softer. And see how you can, you're coming around this corner. You're really handsy on his face. That makes your line, that makes him hollow out that top line and raise his head. If you'd give him an inch of rain and occasionally lift your hand, when you lift your hand, just sit down, ride what's behind you. Think about picking up his belly with your legs and riding what's behind you. He's not going anywhere, you know that. But see how you're trying to get that line, that perfect equitation line with your hand in your arm, and all it does is make you stiff over and over. So see, there you go. Again, stiff. See, you're kind of almost slumping with your shoulders. You're trying to ride from your seat, but because you're stiff in the upper body, it's not happening. A lot of leg, a lot of seat. Really relax through your waist, through your lower back. Um, move with him a little bit. You don't have to move all over the place, but relax. Relax that elbow. It can be re relaxed and still have a straight line, but relax your upper body and breathe. Like here, breathe through your strides, kind of feel. Think about when you're loping around, feel that hind end moving underneath you, okay? Don't ride the front end, ride that hind end. And this is gonna come into play on your leads when he's swapping over those jumps. Number one, you're probably, and I'll pick on Rachel again, I know you don't care. She's probably talking way too much about changes. Stop worrying about changes. Gus has a change, yes, it's rusty, but he has one. You need to get your legs correct and use them correctly before you even think about changes. See right there, and you're a better, you're a better, you're a smoother rider than this. I've seen you ride softer, I've seen you ride smoother. You look super duper stiff in these videos. Um, and I just, even with that break there, see how you kind of went to your hands first. Now we're gonna play it in real time again. And just relax. Again, let your hands move. Remember, the more you let your hands move, the more you allow them to move, the quieter they will be, the softer they will be. See how you're kind of slumpy in your shoulders, I think? Just stiff, stiff through your lower back. Pick those shoulders up, roll them back, soften a little bit, and relax your lower back. Move your hips and your lower back with him. So really think about all, all that, but really think about your leg. And talking about leads before we get to the jumping, he likes leg and hand at the same time. So I really think right there when he swapped, I think you went to your inside leg or pull the little outside hand. You have to remember, like right here, you should keep inside hand up just a tad, outside leg on, just to hold him in it. Really remember that, so let's watch it again. You should have inside hand up, right? Hang on, 
next jump okay right here you're riding relax your back relax your back see how you're sitting down too deep pick up your inside hand just a tad outside leg and he would have held that I think you did the complete opposite yep because right there coming over that jump you kind of lean to the inside and you're super duper stiff in your lower back still relax count your strides in the in in count blah count your strides in your head sing yourself a song I don't care what you have to do but you're driving him to that jump you're you need to be you know he'll jump you need to be confident that he'll go over and you need to ride him to the jump and over the jump not just to the jump and brace so right here you should be riding relaxing see how stiff I just think your hands are stiff pick them up move them and I just mean pick them up a few inches just an inch right here just think a little inside hand outside leg you want to almost pull back and he swapped leads because you were using that inside leg you really have to remind them and this works will work for crash too just think about that inside hand think about the lead you want and hold it over that jump here we go again see you kind of lean right there to the outside you had that inside leg on him now you pick it up again if you would just relax and breathe relax relax pick up your hands just a hair nice Again, you got to think about that lead before the jump. Here we go one more time. Nope, this is our next one. All right, same thing. Look how your hands are stiff and bracy. I get the whole equitation thing, and we're going to watch that in slow-mo. I think you were pulling him back right there, too. You want to drive him forward. You don't have to lean way over his neck, but you're almost setting down, pulling him back before the jump. And I think that comes from crash, and I think that's why you're having problems with crash. So let's watch this again. All right, I got you in slow mo. If we'll get to the jump. So, right there, relax that lower back. You want to be super stiff in your hands. Forget that equitation crap. That is so drilled in your head, you are not going to forget it. You are not going to not do it. You can't. I've tried to make you not do it. It doesn't happen. You know that. You want to give him a little more face here. You're really in his mouth. For him. You're not horrible. I know you're trying, but give him a little more. And right there. See, you pull back. That's what you do with crash. You need to push forward. You pulled back like, oh, shit. And then you drove over the jump. All right, so we'll keep going. Again, think about those leads over the jump. You should have, instead of pulling back, instead of worrying about, oh, shit, should have had that outside leg on, teeny bit of inside hand lift, just an inch, and drive him over that jump. So here we go again. Let's see what we get, if we'll ever get there. Maybe I slow mode this a little too much. I don't think so. I like to talk. So keep going. Get crash out of the way. All right, so here you come. Sit, but breathe. Relax your lower back. Just lift a little. There you go. Now, I want outside leg on. See, you're picking up. Whoa, you want to pull back there a little bit too. Really pay attention to that. You want to pull back and then that sets you up to lean on that inside. That could be a huge reason why you're having issues with your lead changes too. But I know this is totally opposite from, opposite from Rachel, but stop stressing so much about the damn lead changes. You're going to have a roux all over again times three in these two other horses. Soft, soft. There you pull back. There was no reason to. If you want to rate him, it comes from your seat and leg and your lower back. Relax and breathe or drive, one or the other. It comes from your body. You're going to pull back a little here, right there. See, you kind of check, check, check. He can't jump when you're riding, riding on his face like that.
ています。